Hey everybody, Paul Schumann here with a short video on Legato versus Marcato. You look at the link below, you can see a video about how to conduct legato, to doing a legato pattern, making it nice and smooth. But today, we're going to talk about how to do marcato. And that involves gravity. That's a Pekka Solonen talks about throwing an apple up in the air. It slows down and then speeds up and then has a natural gravitational fall at a certain rate. And that is natural. And that's what we're looking for when we're conducting. All right, so what you're gonna do is raise your hand, engage the muscles, and then let it drop. And as it drops, it will increase in speed. And then you engage the muscles again when you hit the ictus. So lift and drop and drop. And you can see it speeds up. I'm not pushing my arm down to make it go faster. I'm letting it drop. So there's absolutely no tension, which is very good for your players. I've had to work a lot over the years of getting rid of tension in my conducting. And drop and drop. So the rebound looks like someone jumping on a trampoline, which again is just gravity. It lands, it starts fast, slows down, feels like it's floating for a split second but keeps moving and then drops again. And maybe that rebound is the hardest one. Your muscles are not engaged though when you drop the baton and drop and drop and speed up. I like to add a touch of wrist in there just so that it's not locked, especially for string players. They do not like to see locked wrists when they're playing. It gets a little bit nicer sound out of the strings. All right, so that's marcato as opposed to legato. Get working on it. It takes a lot of practice, but enjoy it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any topics you would like me to discuss, please leave them in the comments below or visit my website at paulshuen.net. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.